In this lesson, we will learn how to add a summary task in Microsoft Project. This should work for all versions starting from Microsoft Project 2013 all the way to the most current versions of Project. Before we get started, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell so that you get notifications when I publish a new video. Here we start with a very basic project schedule that has just been converted from a simple list to having a structure. Most of this schedule has a structure with summary tasks and subtasks. But how do you add a milestone? Well, in this project schedule, I have two tasks that I know are milestones, but I haven't set them yet. So we will work through the, that first. Then I will explain how to enter a new milestone if you need it. The first task that I have here that I want to make sure it's marked as a milestone is my task on line three, right here. This is authority to proceed. It's similar to contract award, or if you like, it's a, the project start. Therefore, it's just a milestone. Right now I have it identified with one day duration with which makes it a task. First, let's define what a milestone is. A milestone is defined by the Project Management Institute or PMI as a planned completion of a significant event in a project. And then according to Microsoft, a milestone typically has zero duration, although some milestones may need to have duration. Scheduling best practices is to consider a milestone with zero duration 99% of the time. So let's go define that in our schedule. The easiest way to define a milestone is to give it a duration of zero days. Here I already have my duration column. So if you don't have this, I'm going to take it off and then we're going to add it back in. So you see how to add it. You first select where you want to add your column, which is to the left of this. So click on the heading of this column and right click and then click insert column and then choose or type duration and then choose that or click enter and then I have my duration back in here. So here for authority to proceed, I'm going to add a zero to make it a milestone. So I'm gonna add zero right here and now it's a milestone. So that's it. But how do you know it's a milestone? Well, first you can start by looking at your Gantt chart. Here you can notice that the small bar I had changed to a diamond. A diamond shape as default in Microsoft Project means a milestone. Let's change it back to say 20 days. Let's put in 20. Notice how it changed to a bar. Now let's enter zero again. Now we're back to the diamond. Another way to know if it's a milestone is to add the milestone column. So let's click on start on the heading of start because I want my column on the left of start. And then I'm going to right click and insert column. And here I'm going to enter the column milestone. So start typing milestone and click enter. And you can see which ones are milestones and which ones are not. If you can notice all of them are no except this one right here. It says yes, which is authority to proceed. Not enough proof? There is another way to know that your task is marked as a milestone. Double click on your task and you will get the task information pop up. Here you will see in the advanced tab, click on advanced, that the task is marked as a milestone. So you go down and look here, mark task as milestone. So if you ever are handed a schedule with tasks that have duration and they show up as a milestone in the Gantt chart, then you know where to go to make changes if needed. So I'm going to click OK right here. And the other task I have that is a milestone is this last one, product delivery. I'm going to enter zero right here. And now it's also a milestone and it says yes right here. The last thing I want to show you is adding a milestone to your schedule that is currently not on your schedule. So first you have to identify where you want your milestone. I want it right over the task test. So this one right here in my schedule is task 23. I want the milestone to be under cargo modification. So I highlight the column 23, which is test. And then I go to my tab task and then go over to insert and I will insert milestone. But before I click on it, I'm going to read the tooltip, which says insert milestone 
insert a milestone task to mark an event in the project. Milestone tasks are a task with a zero day duration. So we're going to click on it. And now you see I have this new milestone right under cargo modification where I wanted it. And you can see here in the Gantt chart, it's now a diamond. So right here, I'm going to write production complete. And now that will be my milestone for my production complete. When all of these is completed, I'm going to want that. Right now, I do not have any logic in the schedule, so they're not connected. But once I connect it all, it will make more sense in the Gantt chart. But that's for a different lesson in the future. Now we know how to add milestones to our schedule. Sweet. In this lesson, you learned how to add a milestone to your schedule in Microsoft Project.